Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. Today we're going to talk about an early film animator and a pioneer for cinema in general. Her name is Lottie Reininger. She is a German animation expert who started all the way back during the silent film era. She actually started in the 19-teens, well before Walt Disney or some more famous animators actually got started. And she was able to make films that were incredibly graceful, very artful, and were incredibly impressive if you look at the limited uh, range of motion that she could have with her silhouette puppets. She was somebody who was able to take paper cutouts and put them together using wire, essentially making puppets, and then animate the puppets in front of a camera. She started this in the 1920s. She actually made some earlier films in the 19-teens, but uh, she started, for the most part, making her silhouette puppet animation in the 1920s. Now, I'm starting today by showing you a clip from a film that she did in the 1950s, because this is in the public domain. Her most famous film came out in 1926, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. It is a wonderful, wonderful film that I wish I could show you, but it is still under copyright. So unfortunately, you're going to have to go check that out after you see this video. But she made an incredibly impressive feature-length film 10 years before Walt Disney made Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So this is actually The Adventures of Prince Ahmed, the oldest existing film that is feature length for animation. Uh, there may have been a few earlier films, but this is the earliest existing one. But anyway, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed was a huge hit around the world, and it allowed her to keep making her silhouette animation films well into the 1970s. She is able to make very graceful movement on the screen, and it's very, very difficult to do if you understand animation. Most people do character animation using either a computer today, or in the older days, uh, they used to do that by drawing. And it does allow you for a much greater range of movement. But Lottie was able to make her puppets have very, very graceful movements, and that is because she studied how people moved, and she moved these puppets in, ex in very incredibly uh, subtle ways. It is very difficult to move that puppet in a very graceful way, and she would do that by having 24 frames per second of these small movements making very, very graceful movement on the screen. She was also incredibly artful with her images, and she started, quite frankly, I think, what eventually became stylized animation. In the 1960s, you started seeing stylized films that used characters that looked a little bit less believable um, and a little bit less uh, cartoony than uh, were originally made by places like the Walt Disney Studio. Studios started to make films with characters that were flat characters that were a little bit more angular, and characters that were a little bit more driven by modern art. Uh, I think Lottie was doing this way before anybody else was doing it in the 1920s, and her films are incredibly powerful to watch. And quite frankly, they're also just very good films, even if you take away the fact that it's a silhouette puppet and it's impressive how she was able to make the movement. Her films were just well done. She had a good sense of editing. She had a good sense of pacing. And she was able to make films that had a slight avant-garde edge, but also be accessible enough to the average person. Her films should be better known today, and she should be a name that comes off the tongue much easier for people that are interested in film history. And quite frankly, I think even people that just care about art proper should know about her, as she was able to take a, a very simple form and make it into an incredibly graceful form of art. Check her out on the internet, check out her films, and make sure you continue to art smart.